This is Matt with Flytrap Store, and this is, I believe, the first video I've attempted to make since we were, uh, since we've moved from Oregon to Missouri. So I thought I'd give an update. Uh, as you can see, we're growing outside here. Um, patio and deck are full of fly traps and pitcher plants, and uh, just thought I'd give a walkthrough of how the plants are doing and uh, show some of the fall pitchers on the Leucophila and Leucophila dominant hybrids and uh, update on the fly traps, which seem to be doing pretty well here. They got lots of bugs to eat. Um, you can hear the cicadas in the background probably. I'm sure the microphone's picking that up, but I um, guess I'll just start over here. This is, I believe, Siskiyou Sunset. Uh, I think it's a Flava cross uh, Oreophila hybrid. It's a lot of pitchers from the spring. It does a lot in the spring, kind of goes dormant in the summer and then puts up some fall pitchers. So you can see them coming up still. Uh, big rack of fly traps over here. These are just miscellaneous clones. Um, these are Saracenia Leucophila AJ01, putting up some of their fall pitchers, nice and tall, uh, beautiful color on these when they get a little aged, you can see from the, this is the spring pitchers here with a nice red lip on them. Next to it is Dana's Delight. I love this one. Still sending up some fall pitchers, but it did a lot of them a, about a month ago. It started putting up some nice ones. Uh, some sort of seed grown Leucophila I did. I don't know, 10 years ago or so. Leo Wilkerson's behind it. Um, this is the best I've ever seen. This uh, Flava, or no, sorry, it's a Leucophila cross Oreophila look. Nice big old tubby pitchers on that thing this year in the fall. And all these pitchers are getting full up with um, flies and, and moths and all kinds of stuff. So finally, compared to Oregon, we got a lot of bugs here for the plants to munch on. Uh, this is Hurricane Creek White here in front. And I'll show my mother pots over there in a second. They look really good this year, too. Another rack of fly traps. Um, this is Schnell's Ghost. And this is where our uh, mantis friend has been hanging out all summer, stalking on these Leucophila pitchers. <laughs> Love that little dude. Bear's coming over to say hello. Hey, Bear. Hey, yeah. So, uh, just walking around. Got a big hole here, construction going on. We're trying to get a big 30 by 108 greenhouse put up and uh, kind of got a delay with the county. So uh, we're gonna have to figure out another solution for winter because the winters here are just a little too cold to leave everything outside. Um, up here on the right side of the deck is my uh, personal collection of Saracenia, mostly, most of them anyway. And these are my three pots of the Leucophila that I uh, Hurricane Creek White that I grew from seed back in 2009 or so. Um, this Reptilian Rose, I didn't, this is the first year I've had it in the fall and it puts up some nice fall pitchers. I didn't realize that. A lot of these are Flava dominant hybrids here along the side. Um, this is a complex hybrid here, Beth, and then a Flava Rugelii next to it. Uh, another Flava Ornata cross. Uh, Atropurpurea, and then a couple of beautiful hybrids there. Those are um, Leucophila cross Flava, one Saurus, and the other one's uh, crossed by Danny Powell. Be both beautiful plants, but they're way past their prime now. Um, this is our new RO unit here. We're lucky in that it rains a lot, and so we collect a lot of rainwater, so we don't have to use this too much, but it's a uh, 1,000 GPD, so a gallon per day. It can produce up to 1,200 gallons a day, I think. Um, just some tubs with various pitchers in them. And Bear is just kind of stalking me here. Uh, whole bunch of pitcher plants here. Various clones, lots of hybrids. Mostly Flava and Leucophila or hybrids of those. You can see quite a few Leucophilus sticking up there at the top. Um, I think that's another Dana's Delight or it might be uh, Leucophila burgundy. Uh, Again, a lot of these are past their prime because they're flava dominates. Um, this is my personal collection of fly traps that aren't looking stellar right now. I've started repotting them into these nice big pots now that we have more space. And the uh, ones that aren't repotted yet aren't looking so hot. So trying to work my way through getting them all repotted and I'll get it done hopefully before fall. Um, various pitchers here, a lot of little seedling pitchers that I started last year. 
these were started a year ago and they're looking pretty dang good these uh that's a one-year-old leucophila that's pretty impressive growth so yeah a few darlingtonia that made the trip that aren't liking this climate too much the nights are a little too warm um some more fly traps up here and you can take a look almost every trap in here has a has a bug in it or a lot of them are closed right now uh, you can see a lot of dead flies in the traps around here so yeah they're, they're loving life out here in Missouri eating up the bugs there's some ruined monsters various clones down there some low giants over here a mix of clones down there some that need to be repotted some g16s up here on top quite a few uh, various clones dcxls a tray needs water you can tell by the light color on the peat that one needs water today uh, these are a lot of dcxls feasting you can see most of the traps are either closed or reopened with a bug in them uh, some more dcxls my mother pots, which also need to be repotted, and aren't looking so hot right now. But they did really well this spring and summer. And uh, this purple haze seems to really like it here in the climate. Um, Kronos, I let those get a little dry at one point this summer. I love Scarletine. It's one of my favorite uh, clones. It's a, one of the few that actually is variegated and holds its variegation well. Fused tooth back there doing its thing. And then here's a few new clones of Saracenia that we grow. I really like this Intombi clone and uh, Chirua. These guys are beautiful. And there's a couple, what is it, Kayakazi. I like that one too. Um, some more of those down there. This is a whole tray of Rubra and a Flava here that I got this summer too. Um, here's a potted Intombi which is, uh, I can't remember the cross. I think it's a minor cross purpurea, which is a pretty cool looking, I love the way the hoods look and how dark purple they can get. Um, more down there. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you can see the field out back. and Leah calls that the hangar. That's my dad's storage shed up there on the hill. We moved here to help out my parents whose health isn't doing very good. So we're here to stay and uh, trying to make do with the beautiful weather and property for the fly traps, but the adjustment to the heat and humidity was rough. But um, the fly traps are loving it. A tray of lunatic fringe or a pot of lunatic fringe there. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. You can see the little greenhouse in the background here. That's what my dad's been using historically to grow his collection of fly traps, which is over here on the bench uh, in those white styrofoam cups. I sent him most of those plants back in 2007 or so. And he, they grow really well here, so he's been propagating them and giving them away. A few DCXLs and Crimson Sawtooths in there. Um, this is my or my mother pot of Low Giant. is uh, looking great this year. Some other various clones out of tissue culture over the last year or two. Um, what do we see over here is a concrete mixer that we've repurposed as a soil mixer. Um, peat moss on the ground there, sand and perlite also. Uh, some various Saracenia flava and leucophilas there. This is that Luco Cross Oreo from Saracenia Northwest. Pretty awesome clone. Looks like the red wasp really loves that nectar in there. And these pictures are bigger than I've ever seen them, so they love this Missouri humidity and, and warmth at uh, night and um, look great. Some low giants. There's the potting station for Leah and me. Uh, table where we eat lunch most of the time. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the tour, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Okay. Bye-bye, Flytrap Store people.